You know, just as the world is opening up, uh, we had a setback in the form of uh, Omicron. So do you think uh, testing will get impacted because of the, uh, the, the S gene uh, target failure? Right. So this is why we need to be, uh, again, sort of reconsidering um, different platforms of testing. Um, so the rapid antigen test that you can do at home, uh, those are based on the presence of uh, nucleocapsid protein, which is found in the core of the virus. And that seemed to still work, even though there are some mutations in the nucleocapsid of the Omicron, the, um, the rapid um, antigen tests are still, uh, you know, uh, detecting the Omicron variants. The PCR test that you're referring to, Sanchita, um, some of the PCR um, primers are against the spike region of the genome of uh, SARS-CoV-2, which uh, is dropping out because of all these mutations that are accumulating in that region. Um, however, most PCR tests rely on more than just one part of the genome. So spike is one of them, but there is uh, nucleocapsid, there are uh, envelope and other targets that are included in the set of primers. So it's not that, you know, we will fail to detect this variant altogether um, because we do have these other targets which are still working. So I want to ask you, what do we know about the virus? I know it's early days yet, uh, yet and we still don't know enough. We are learning something every day. But if you could just give, give us a recap of what we know now. So we don't know many things yet about this new variant, Omicron. First, we don't know how much more transmissible this variant is to uh, compared to other variants. We also don't know how virulent this variant is. Um, we also don't know how well the vaccines will protect against this variant. So there's a lot that we don't know. What we do know is that this Omicron variant does have a lot of mutations, a lot more mutations than other variants that we've seen so far. Um, so this really makes uh, some of us feel um, cautious about this variant because the more mutation in the spike protein, the more likely that it will escape the vaccine-induced immune responses. The early data also indicates that chances of reinfection are high. So what do we know about that? Because if people get reinfected, will the disease be as severe as uh, the, the infection, the first infection, or will it be milder? Do we know anything about that? Yeah, I, again, it's very early days, and it's really hard to know how, um, you know, how bad the reinfection is going to be. However, um, as I mentioned, because the Omicron has more than 30 mutations in the spike protein, it means that any pre-existing immune responses developed either by the vaccination or the infection or a combination thereof um, may be uh, less effective in preventing infection and disease against the Omicron variant. So we need to be um, very vigilant and we need to do whatever it takes to prevent this from spreading. So several countries have already uh, introduced restrictions and you mentioned that vaccines will not be as effective. Also, several manufacturers have started re working on uh, vaccines to make them more effective against. So when can we get a new uh, vaccine and which platform is it likely to come from? Will it be mRNA or some other platform as well? Right. Uh, so just let me uh, state that what I said is that this Omicron variant may be more um, capable of escape from immunity. We don't know right now, uh, for example, how well the existing vaccines prevent infection, how well the antibodies generated by the vaccines, current vaccines, um, block this uh, virus. And to do this, we need to do assays, which people around the world are doing right now, uh, to, to take the antibody from a vaccinated or infected person and testing against the variant uh, with respect to neutralization. And those data will be forthcoming, I'm sure, uh, in the next few days. Um, however, uh, as you say, Sanchita, the important thing is to prepare for the future if it turns out to be that this variant is in indeed um, evasive. Uh, what we need to do is to, uh, you know, develop new vaccines that are specifically encoding the spike of this particular variant. 
Um, and, and to do that, many vaccine companies are already working on developing um, the specific spike protein that is found in the Omicron variant as vaccine. The mRNA platform is you know, very adaptable. So you can basically change the sequence of the mRNA and make a new vaccine fairly quickly. And so the idea is to do that and then um, hopefully use that as a booster vaccine.